it's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and let's talk summer dormancy, how to identify it and what to do about it. Example numero uno would be the Echeveria agavoides. Oif. Okay, so take note of how scorched these bottom leaves are, how it's dull in color, and is just issuing a cry for help. Some ways that we can combat this is to provide this plant with some shade. The problem is that this is the right plant in the wrong spot in the summer. In the fall, winter, and spring, it looks great. But in summer, she struggles. So I'm doing a little experiment. I've got another stand of them right here, which is my preferred stand because it's bigger and more in your face. So I brought this umbrella out and I'm providing shade. And what I want to demonstrate by doing that is how these are going to come out of it pretty quick. Well, you know, when you're out in the hot sun, right? What happens when you go move into the shade? 10 degrees cooler, 15 degrees cooler. What a difference. So same with plants. You can look at this plant and you're probably thinking, gosh darn it, that needs a drink of water. The worst thing you can do with a summer dormant plant is water it because these plants have gone to sleep and they are not gonna be able to intake that water. So by lowering the temperature, the plant wakes up a little bit and goes, oh, okay, we're kind of tricking it. Oh, I guess, you know, I guess it's cooling down. So now, you know, I can get on with it and they start to wake up. They start to get more robust. Then you can add a little bit of hydration. Another way that you can tell that your plant is dormant in the summer is bottom leaf drop. This is off of my aloe tonga ensis right here. And I pulled a bunch of these off the other day. If you start to see a lot of this crispy leaf down at the very bottom of the branches of your plants, that's another really good indication to tone it back on the water because your plant's asleep. Nobody does summer dormancy like aeoniums. And this is a perfect example, my little pink witch. Look at how this is so closed up. See how it's normally the aeoniums are open and they look like a rose. And when they're dormant, they just close up. They drop little bottom leaves like we talked about before. The worst thing that I could do for this plant is water it. What the best thing I can do for it is to provide it a little shade. Why am I not doing that? Basically because I'm lazy and I just haven't. And I know it's not going to die. But if I wanted this to look more pink, I would put a little shade cover over this, a little shade cloth over it. But this is to be expected. The plant is fine. If you can be patient and just wait for fall, she'll open up and be absolutely stunning. All right, so this is one of my favorite little areas in the garden. And let's just quickly discuss what's dormant and what's not. You know, a little pop quiz, right? Can you identify things in this garden that are dormant? like this Petalanthus macrocarpus. Do you see any leaves on this? No, so probably night-night. Uh, look at this little Crassula baby's necklace. See how it's starting to come out of dormancy now? It's getting some little flower growth on it. So it would probably be a safe time to give this a little drink of water. Euphorbias too. My little Medusa, look at how it's getting ready to pop with flowers. So this is also starting to wake up. Cactus are still a little dormant. Uh, they can tolerate a little summer water, but be careful. Someone mentioned on last walk about Wednesday that my garden was looking a little monochromatic and maybe I should pop in some aloe cameronii or you know, some red. And I looked at it and I thought, yeah, you, yeah, you're right. But then it occurred to me, it's looking a little monochromatic because it's summer and most of the plants are asleep. So a way to kind of combat that if that's bugging you is to add color other ways. Look at all of the different types of glass and rock and garden art that I have in this space. So yeah, the plants might not be popping, but my glass sure is. It's so pretty. I've got all kinds of different colors of things going on. I've got slag glass. I got fire glass. I've got, you know, multicolored rock, uh, my jade chips. I've got shells. And so when I look at this, I don't see a dormant summer garden that's dull. I see a really vibrant coral reef. 
So remember, in a perfect world, it would be sunny and 70 degrees Fahrenheit all year round, but that ain't reality. So if you cannot provide shade to your entire garden and your plants are struggling through summer dormancy because they're hot, remember, avoid water, provide shade if possible. You know they're dormant when they're dull, they've kind of, they're lacking in color, they aren't blooming, the bottom leaves are browning and falling off, and they just generally are sad. If you're new to the channel, welcome! And remember, like, subscribe, share these videos with your succulent loving friends, turn on notifications, and be sure to follow for more fun and frolicking in the Succulent Garden with Laura Eubanks. Bye guys!